Every day this week, we've been talking about innovative biotech firms that are creating amazing new drugs. But let's not forget about the companies that help make this innovation possible. Companies like Charles River Labs, CRL, the contract research organization that provides universities and biopharma businesses with everything they need to discover new drugs and conduct early stage clinical trials, really early, including the right kind of lab rats and mice needed for safety and test safety testing. It's like a one-stop shop for all your discovery and early stage drug development needs. In fact, Charles River is 50% market share in research models. Industry speak for those rats and mice uh, that I just mentioned. 20% share in toxicology, 20% in drug discovery, and 20% in endotoxin and microbial detection. I am a fan of this company, as you know, longtime watchers, because the farm and biotech industries are increasingly embracing outsourcing. Charles River is basically an arms dealer to the entire group. This stock has been moving up nicely, rallying 9% since we last spoke to the CEO at the end of October, and it barely got dinged in today's nasty market-wide sell-off. Now, the company just presented the big J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference this morning, so this is a perfect time to check in with Jim Foster, the chairman and CEO of Charles River Laboratories, to hear more about how his company's doing. Mr. Foster, welcome back to Mad Money. Nice to be here, Jim. All right, I, I got to ask you, Jim, you're out there. I, I am listening to more companies than I've ever heard, watching more IPOs come public. These companies cannot do the work themselves to figure out go, no go. Are these uh, all new clients or potential new clients that you're seeing when you're out in San Francisco? It's, uh, it's amazingly exciting and optimistic time. Yeah, we, uh, many of the companies here are our clients. Uh, we're helping them make these determinations as early as possible in the drug discovery and development process. And biotech, which I know you've been spending some time with uh, this week, is really, um, there are more virtual companies, there are more companies that have technology platforms that want to use outside providers and partners like Charles River to try to accelerate the process and get the drugs to market. So we're enjoying our collaboration uh, with these companies, both large and small, immensely. All right, now, we've been speaking to a bunch of companies at a very early stage, and I've been cautioning people, look, just because you did phase one doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have good news. Are, are you seeing companies that are uh, basically, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is a hype, no hype question I'm going to ask, but they, they, they are presuming that if things work in mice, they're going to definitely work in people? Uh, sometimes, not, not always. I mean, it's an, it's an early indication that the drug may work well. Uh, it's one of those go, no go uh, time frames. Um, longer term studies with different animal models are quite helpful, but final determination really has to be made in the clinic with patients that have the disease state. In other words, the difference between actual human outcomes in mice and rats very far, many years between each other. It's, uh, it, it, it's helpful and predictive. Uh, we're working on better animal models. There are humanized mouse models that actually you implant a human immune system into a mouse model. Things like that will give better predictability over time. So, yeah, we're, we're working hard to try to bridge that gap. Our genetically engineered model lines um, uh, go a long way towards doing that. Uh, there are animal models for a variety of uh, disease states. Oh, well, let's but, say it's, you're, but it's still an animal. Well, let's say you're working on a statin, and the FDA is worried that there might be a heart implication. And so, therefore, you really don't want to give it to a human because you're not going to necessarily die of, of, of too much cholesterol. Uh, it's too risky. Could I come to you and say, listen, uh, Mr. Foster, I I've got a problem. I've got this great drug, lowers cholesterol. I'm afraid it might cause heart or cancer. Can you help me? Sure. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll model that out. We'll do a study design. We'll put it into uh, animal models. We have, we have capabilities now through an acquisition that we just did uh, in the ion channel space, which helps to determine um, heart, w whether a drug will cause heart arrhythmias. So yes, I think a lot of the early modeling um, for the drug to, to make the go-no decision about safety and efficacy, uh, the animal models have gone a long way uh, to doing that. And, and yes, that's what we're doing every day for these clients. One last question. I know you can't take stakes in the public companies, but when you do a, a study with a leading academic institution and you see something works, could you ever take a royalty or get a partnership with them? I mean, why would they care? It's not, a, you know, you're not you know, doing anything with a publicly traded company, but you know more than anybody, and obviously a, you know, a university needs partners. Uh, we, we could obviously do that. I mean, we've been running our business primarily on a fee-for-service basis. You know, we'll do really good work, and uh, you'll pay us for that fee. And we, we've always thought it was a bit overreaching to try to get parts and pieces of drugs. Uh, we, do, we in no way want to be competing with our clients, but... 
Uh, that, that may change over time. And as we do more work with universities, as you say, uh, that may be a good value proposition. But uh, it hasn't uh, happened up until this point, but we would be open to that. Excellent. Well, you're right in the heart of it. You really are. Just uh, know much more than a lot of the companies. I really want people to listen to you because a lot of the companies we're talking to are a little speculative if they know what you're doing before they get to where I'll be taking it. That's James Foster, Chairman, President, and CEO of Charles River Labs. Thank you so much, sir. Great to talk to you. Pleasure, Jim. How great is it to serve all of these companies we're talking about rather than just be worried about one particular drug? I like Charles Raps. Stick with Kramer.